we look at some of the funniest things done with engines. Beginning with some of the biggest and most extreme engines and then we finally end the video with some of the weirdest projects ever conceived. So stay tuned and let's begin the top 7 countdown. At number 7 the chainsaw bike. Now if you watched any extreme engine videos you probably have heard of this ridiculous motorbike. It's powered by 24 chainsaw engines, and once the rider is done pull starting each engine, the bike turns into a 1.9 liter 160 horsepower machine. I would hate to see the drive belt design, but supposedly the motors are coupled together in sets of 3 by a double sided drive belt. The series of 8 modules are then connected to one output shaft, and I honestly do not understand how this would work, so I'm gonna go to the next position. I did it! I supercharged my riding mower! <laughs> At number 6, the V12 lawnmower. Supercharging a lawnmower would be pretty extreme, but a team of fanatics decided to do a complete engine swap and go all out with a 27 liter V12 engine. The team is accustomed to challenging projects and this one took over 500 hours of build time. The result is an 800 horsepower monster, capable of mowing your grass in about a quarter of the time. But you just might end up with a ripped up racetrack in the backyard, along with a divorce. At number 5, the radial engine Volkswagen. Mike Neiman did something pretty incredible by retrofitting an oversized 11 liter radial to the back of his Volkswagen. Mr. Neiman utilized a 220 horsepower W670 radial which was used in a variety of applications including tanks. So it's a pretty large engine. This car will probably make an environmental enthusiast have nightmares, but it does run pretty smooth with its latest tuning. But it definitely needs some spiked wheels and a few machine guns in the front for the next zombie invasion. At number 4, the jet powered drone. I mentioned this drone before and this one scares me a little bit. Just imagine a corrupt AI, body snatching drone with jet engines. On a serious note, this could be used as a search and rescue flying hero, which may actually save lives one day. I do think this is an already impressive project, which utilizes three vectored turbines and ducted fans for stability. It would be neat to see this drone actually be self sustainable, and its thrust capabilities obviously give it a huge advantage over conventional prop driven drones. At number 3, the PAT 1. The Postman PAT is a pretty ridiculous vehicle which can barely hold one person. It doesn't have enough room to carry mail, and it used to be a kid's coin operated machine at one point. So modding it with a 500cc engine is completely overkill. It's faster than an Aston Martin V12 Vanquish in a quarter mile, and it can even reach speeds of over 100 miles per hour. So if you ever see a grown man driving a kid's toy down the street, it's probably a good idea not to take him for granted. And number 2, the Nitro Power Rotary Tool. Johnny Q90 is a master builder of engines and he builds all sorts of crazy things. This particular build is a complete overkill, but it will get the job done in half the time. A Nitro powered GX12 was ultimately used in the final build and it can actually cut through all sorts of materials including steel. Now to be honest this looks like something for a zombie invasion and hopefully an evil dentist does not get their hands on this thing. At number 1, the Nitro Powered Pencil Sharpener. This is basically built out of an old Nitro RC engine, which is overpowered for a pencil sharpener, but let's face it, this will never leave you in frustration. Featured on the Mike and Lauren channel, this thing obviously sharpens your pencils instantaneously, but my favorite feature is that it has an inbuilt brake, which kind of acts like an off and on switch, so the user has more controllability in sharpening the pencil. And if you have a pencil sharpener like me, which never works properly, and it always breaks the tips, well this thing can be very useful for you. Ultimately this is a Nitro Messiah, and maybe just one day we can see this product on the market. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.